this is Bob. Bob's so excited. Bob just joined an opportunity. An M L M. And his sponsors told Bob, Bob, whoever gets within three feet of you, you pass out this DVD or you pass out this pretty track. And Bob and his sponsor are around the kitchen table. And his sponsor says, Bob, Here's a piece of paper and a pen. I need you to write down everybody you could possibly know. Your warm market. Bob's excited. Bob's just been told he's going to make a billion zillion dollars. Oh, Bob dreams. He dreams of a brand new car. A big castle. And he dreams of Hooter Girls. Oh, yes, he does. You see, Bob's not married, so he can dream of Hooter Girls. So his sponsor says, Bob, pay attention. Start naming your warm market. Bob names his mom, who's a little overweight. But God bless her. Bob names his neighbors. Little loving couple. They have a little baby too, by the way. Bob's got an ex-wife, so of course the ex-wife. The mailman that delivers his mail. The gym personal trainer. Bob knows a couple cousins, too. Bob also knows that pretty long-haired girl that cuts his hair. See, that's Bob's market. So his sponsor says, Bob, pay attention. You need to approach your warm market. You need to let them know this is the mother of all programs. So guess what? Bob does approach his war market. And he preaches his program from the rooftops. Friends, this is not a happy story. There is not a happy ending. You see, what Bob doesn't know, what Bob couldn't see, was that his war market were carrying hatchets. Big, black, razor, sharp hatchets. And it didn't take long at all. After Bob approaches warm market for one of the hatchets to, that's blood. That's a lot of blood, folks. That ain't pretty at all. You see, one of the hatchets, oh yeah, got Bob, got him really, really good. Blood everywhere. You see, this wasn't the first time Bob approached his war market, his cousins his ex, his mailman, his neighbors. This was the umpteenth time. They've had enough. They've lost money in the past with Bob's little pretty boy ventures. They're tired of hearing about the cabillion zillion dollars that they would possibly earn. Friends, I want you to join my Lightyear team. I encourage you to join my Lightyear team.
but do myself a favor and do yourself a favor. Don't talk to your warm market. Don't approach your cousins or aunt or wives or long lost uncles or your neighbors or your mailman or your mistresses. You see, if only if only I could have got a hold of Bob. If only I could have told Bob, Bob, don't talk about this great opportunity you're in with anyone you know, anyone you're related to. Bob, please don't do it. Don't, Bob, don't do it until you can show them money. Real, solid money. Living proof. You see, friends, don't approach your warm market. Don't approach your warm market. Not until you've made your first nice check. And make sure that check's over a hundred dollars. It doesn't have to be a thousand, but make sure it's about a hundred. My suggestion is don't approach your warm market until you can show them a three hundred dollar check. Do you know why? Because if Bob would have done his reading, he would know that the average person, the average family in America, $300 extra a month will make a world win of difference. This is Michelangelo Lopez with Stick Figure Bob. Thank you.